covered in mud. No one's gonna believe how intense this wind is. Bring your flashlight. <laughs> Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Ali D'Andrea. And today we are on a wild overlanding adventure. I am in Joshua Tree National Park and I'm here with RMT Overland. They loaned us this Jeep Gladiator that is all rigged out and are pretty much letting us go on whatever kind of adventure we want. We're gonna go explore, camp out in this thing and have a blast. There is Nick sitting up high on that rock. We stopped here for lunch. So this is our lunchtime view, which is not a bad view at all. We've already done quite a bit of driving on unpaved roads here in Joshua Tree, and we've got a lot more planned. Nick brought my lunch. Jersey Mike's and a coconut LaCroix. We came from Florida, and I don't have hiking shoes in Florida. I only have muck boots. My Chuck Converse's were the only thing that I had. How does it feel? I haven't even touched it. <gasps> Whoa, that's not what I was expecting. It's very tough. And all of these little spikes, they look a little luscious and feathery from far away, but they're quite uh, hard and spiky up close. The Jeep wave is a real thing. We've been getting a lot of waves from our fellow Jeep drivers. This thing handles so good. Nick and I have been taking turns driving and there, this trail that we're on, unfortunately isn't that technical, but it's covered in sand. There are some funner, windier, bumpier, you know, slightly more technical parts to it that are a ton of fun. I mean, this is what it's built for. So we left the park and we are headed to some BLM land because we have a drone. We bought this drone months ago and just finally started learning how to fly it. So we're really excited to use it and you're not allowed to fly drones in the national park. So that's why we're heading to some BLM land where we are allowed to fly these or this drone and get some cool footage of the Jeep, we'll be making some dinner, some mountain houses, and having some fun. In two miles, oh. turn right onto Gold Crown Road. Woo! Just a sign in the middle of the desert. <laughs> there is not a soul around. This is where we're at, Virginia Dale Mining District. Location acquired, look at this place. It is just miles and miles of really barren landscape. We're gonna get the drone out and continue down this path. <laughs> nice spot! 
Usually it's around two cups, I think. Yeah, it's two cups for that one. And I can't see this one, probably about two cups for that. It's dinner time. So we just got done playing around, yeah, on this beautiful BLM land. And we're boiling some water to make some meals. Because we flew here, we had to bring all of our gear with us in suitcases on the plane. So we have our lovely styrofoam cooler. Wonderful. We brought some backcountry meals, some coffee. We bought water once we got here because there's not much water in the desert to filter your own water. So water's important. Um, and yeah, now we're boiling it up. Big suitcase. <laughs> you can tell that's boiling because it's like rocking back and forth. Do you see that? <laughs> Let's see what it looks like inside. Looks pretty good. This one, look at how flaky that is. That's really funny looking. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Look at how flaky that is. I've had both of these before actually. And I don't remember loving either of them, but I also don't remember hating them. So I'm sure it'll be good. You know what, the wind is making me a little angry because there's a wind advisory. So last night we experienced it fully. We tried to camp out last night. During this time when the sun was setting, it was very similar to this. Fairly calm, all is good. And then as soon as we try to climb up into the rooftop tent, the wind was ripping so aggressively shaking the entire tent. It says north winds 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 50 miles per hour expected. We packed up at like midnight <laughs> after attempting to sleep for like three hours, found our way to a Best Western, booked ourselves a room, and we booked it again tonight because the wind advisory is continuing on through tonight and I think through tomorrow night as well which is a bummer because our plan was to camp out. We have our sleeping bags. We've got all of our gear to be camping out. I feel a little bit like a baby because, <laughs> and I'm just disappointed because the whole thing was for us to be here camping, but at least we're still able to explore. If it was hunting season, we would have had to, you know, toughen up and not sleep for three days or whatever, but since we can be cozy and have fun. Or maybe I'm a baby, I don't know. Everybody's leaving though. We saw one person camped out here tonight. I think everybody knows. Everybody that lives here has tried what we did last night and has already learned their lesson. Look, these people are leaving. Yep, they're saying screw that wind. That's how I feel too. Anyway. You know, you don't want the water to miss Oh. It is, it's really good. It's good coffee, except I could have used this coffee like two or three hours ago. Oh, that's hot. All right, here we go. <laughs> I wish it was daytime so you could actually see this. Woo! Nice work. Those mountains in the distance are where we're going. See it right there. Beep, beep. That's where we're going. Good morning. It's the next day. We are headed off for another adventure. Today we are going to Big Bear Lake and we're taking a trail to get there. These trails can be icy, so we're gonna proceed with caution, but I'm confident that we'll be able to handle whatever we come across. See, look, off-roader, off-roader, we're headed the right way, yeah. 
the scenery to get there is like another planet. It is complete dry, like Mad Max kind of conditions. Welcome back. Oh, tears. Take that. <laughs> hey, lady. Oh, she was bedded right there. <laughs> wow, she's so darkly colored. She was just bedded right here in the juniper. Woo! There's the truck down there. There's the snow. We're getting closer. It's insane to see all of these Joshua trees at this elevation mixed in with the pines and with the snow. It just doesn't seem like there should be snow where these Joshua trees are. An abandoned mine. You should obviously never go in these things, which is why they've got it blocked off. But I am gonna crawl underneath here. Whoa! Bring your flashlight! Oh my gosh, that's so creepy. Whoa. The camera actually picks it up better than my eyes can. That's right. <laughs> that was Nick, not me. Then you climb out and you're in one of the coolest places on earth. So we've reached where the snow line is and where it is covering or was covering the road. Thankfully, a lot of it has melted. So at this point, it's just a little bit of mud and hardly any ice on the road. Big Bear Lake, just ahead. Beautiful. I didn't realize we're at 67,000 feet oh, of 6,700. <laughs> so we climbed a lot. So we didn't start that high, so. We just got done eating and <laughs> we're gonna need to get this thing cleaned off before we hit the highway. The headlamps <laughs> don't even work. Cause it's so covered in mud. Oh, that's funny. Lunch was great, by the way. Mm. So this is what it looks like with the tent out on the vehicle. Because we didn't get to camp, which is so depressing because of these Santa Ana winds, I wanted to show you what this looked like with the tent popped out while I did this nice walk around for you guys and really go through all of the different features that RMT offers in their upfitting of these overlanding vehicles. For me, I'm a hunter primarily. I'm an angler primarily. Like those are my activities. And my vehicle is one of the things that gets me there. Point is, RMT Overland offers you an easy solution to get a rig that is perfectly tuned, safety certified, all of that good stuff. 
So now I'm gonna quickly show you and touch on some of the things that RMT Overland has done to this specific Jeep. I'll include a link down below to a video that Last Line of Defense has done. So if you wanna go check that out, it's a great one. Now RMT Overland is owned by Fox. So these shocks are of course Fox. These are the Fox Performance Elite 2.5 shocks. So they have more aggressive tuning, larger components and increased fluid capacity. With that, it has a three and a half inch suspension lift, which allows for these 37 inch tires. These are BF Goodrich KM3s. They have a tougher sidewall. They have improved traction for mud, rocks, all of the crazy things that you're gonna get into um, with a vehicle like this. So you also have the Fox steering stabilizer. This has an external adjuster. So it provides up to 24 clicks of adjustment for fine tuning and feel. So again, highly customizable. Now on to some of the RMT exclusive pieces of gear that are added to this thing. So these are rock sliders, which protects the body of your vehicle. Up here in the front, there are these brackets. Right now there are lights mounted on there. We have the RMT high clearance front bumper, and of course a winch to get you out of sticky situations. Let me show you this snorkel. So the snorkel is meant to pull in clean air from the top, especially when you're on a dusty trail, a muddy trail. This is pulling cleaner, cooler air from up high instead of the dirty, dusty air from down below. And it looks cool. We've got the roof rack or the bed rack rather. This bed rack is custom made by RMT Overland. It allows the tent to ride pretty much flush with the cab. This comes with a Rome adventure tent. I believe they're off offering some other tent options as well, but I know because of COVID and the pandemic, rooftop tents have been hard to come by and I'm You'll definitely wanna check out their website for options, but it's something that you can have or not. If you already have a rooftop tent, that's not something that you have to purchase with the vehicle. Does that make sense? Um, but know that that's an option for you so that this vehicle really is turnkey right off the lot. You can literally drive them right into the mountains and be ready for your adventure without having to like source all of the components and find a shop to install them or try to install them yourself or you know whatever it may be everything is safety certified everything is done professionally it has all been tested and fine-tuned for each specific vehicle i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i've had so much fun so thank you to rmt overland for giving me the opportunity to come here and have a lot of fun in this jeep gladiator and if you want to check them out a link to their website will be in the description box down below so you can go check it out but that is it you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one